r slash ask reddit, what's the most heartbreaking on-screen death? And the older couple holding each other in bed as the water comes in. Allegedly, this is supposed to represent the founder of Macy's and his wife. Strauss is the last name, their first names escape me. Ellie, the old man's wife, in up. You get to see their whole life together, all their hopes and, broken, dreams, then it's just him at the funeral. Watch up they say. It's good they say. Cry for 10 minutes they don't say. Howard in better call Saul. He was never a bad person, he just ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. That one really stuck with me for a long time. Plus, they really did him dirty in the end. Brooke's death in the Shawshank Redemption. Also Tommy's death. Both scenes hit like a ton of bricks. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. Private Mellish, Adam Goldberg, saving Private Ryan. The Green Mile. I am tired boss. Definitely one of the most heartbreaking scenes. MCD was such an excellent choice for that character. I don't like the dark boss. I always liked that short scene with Arlen Bitterbuck who asks if heaven was when you went back to tour best life before his execution. He tells the story of his first wife in the mountains, and the music rising and the emotion makes that scene somehow my favorite in the whole movie. It was moving, but heartbreaking was Dell's death. I'm still not over that scene. Littlefoot's mom in the land before time. Came here to say this. I rewatched the first one for the first time as an adult and absolutely lost it. ESP when he thought his shadow was his mom. The boy from my girl had me distraught. Where are his glasses? He can't see without his glasses. I remember I was 10 11 watching this and it was the first time I sobbed and really grieved. She did such an amazing job as an actress conveying that pain. The dog from I Am Legend. Upham became irredeemable to me in that scene because, for the longest time, I thought the guy who killed Meliash was Steamboat Willie. Sam. Sam. Samantha. It is weird. People dying on screen has very little impact if any. Dogs on the other hand get me every time. Hell, pretty much any animals dying gets me. Bubba in Forrest Gump. The older I get, the harder that scene gets. I have multiple friends who are vets, one who lost all his friends in Afghanistan and wears their dog tags to this day, one OS now addicted to speed and refuses to admit she needs help, and one who was just mentally broken to the point he lives in his own world. Why did this happen makes me cry. This and Jenny's death. The scene leading up to it is so beautiful and gives me goosebumps every time. Joy Summers in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think because in a show where there's so much supernatural for it to be natural causes was so jarring. SMG's acting was amazing. Mom, mom, mommy. Gives me shivers to this day. And the whole episode had no incidental music, so quiet. This episode will always make me weep. The scene where Willow can't locate an article of clothing is devastating. Charlotte the Spider. The cartoon version. Oh, yeah. This traumatized me as a kid. Her singing with her last breaths. How very special are we, for just a moment to be. Scrubs, when Dr. Cox's bro dies and it finally shows there at his funeral. Sarah Lynn Oding in Bohack also messed me up. Edit, it was Dr. Cox's bro-in-law. One of my favorite movies that I don't have the heart to watch again. Guido in Life is Beautiful. I know enough about it that I've never found the heart to watch it for the first time. I used to think I'd watch it on Father's Day, but that hasn't happened yet. Maybe this year. I don't think I've ever cried as much at a film death. This one got to me. Artax, Atreus horse in the never-ending story. Followed by the rock biter telling Atreus how the nothing stole his friends from his hands when it swept over, killing them and leaving him alone. They look like big, good, strong hands, don't they? Gets me every time. It's even worse in the books. Artrax tells Atreus to turn away and leave so he won't see him die. So he dies sat underscore and underscore alone. Came here to say this. Hands down the worst. Traumatized an entire generation. Wash from Firefly. I am a leaf on the wind. Definitely Mufasa in The Lion King. Cox losing three patients one after the other due to bad transplants also gets me every time, it's the first time he shows any real emotion and unraveling in the show. You just don't expect it and it hits hard. Lie down. Try not to cry. Cry a lot. Boromir in Lord of the Rings. 
great execution of a great man succumb to a force almost no man could withstand and then immediately redeeming himself. Also Theoden. I was in the theater watching the movie when it came out, with my 7 year old son. Why I took him to see that I can't fathom in retrospect. As the arrow smashed into Boromir's body again and again, he started crying, then sobbing, then wailing. Fun lol. Marley from Marley and Me. I rarely trust dog movies. I was on a plane. Didn't even rent the headphones. Fuck that movie. Hotter in Game of Thrones. Realizing had been used his entire life just to get him to his death and had been so traumatized had spent the rest of his life only being able to say hold the door quickly. Lucy Knight in ER. When Carter gets stabbed and sees her while he's on the ground, devastating. He may have been your father, boy. But he wasn't your daddy. Yondu. I found the deaths of all Rocket's fellow animal cyborgs so much worse. The Futurama dog who spent his whole life waiting for Fry only to die and never see him. One that always brings me to tears was Ruth's death in fried green tomatoes. I have been, and always shall be, your friend. Ned Stark, Game of Thrones. I really believed he was going to escape somehow, gather his children and go back to Winterfell. When Bran fell in the first or second episode, I immediately read all the books. So I knew. But still. Poor Ned Boromir Stark. In God, no one has plot armor. Ned Stark was our introduction to that, and it was a huge shock. Uh, Hazel in Watership Down. Do you mean when he flops down and goes with the Black Rabbit? Don't worry about them, they will be fine. Then the music. Bright Eyes. I See more from Futurama. I still won't watch that episode. I sat down to watch a funny cartoon and got smacked full on in the face with unexpected emotional damage. Glenn, Walking Dead. Luckily the 1EP has Fry slash Lars go back and spend time with him. I stopped watching TWD after this. They completely lost the plot when this happened. I rarely get emotional watching TV slash movies, but the mother's shoe scene in Jojo Rabbit really knocked me. Mark Green in ER, those two consecutive episodes from season 8 The Letter and On the Beach are still impossible to rewatch without a box of tissues. This is the one that always gets me. Cannot watch without tears. It kills me how Susan immediately knows something is wrong, while everyone else is laughing at the end of Mark's letter, Link. Sybil in Downton Abbey. Shock and heartbreak. Agreed. It's that tantalizing glimpse of weight, she got through the labor. It's okay. And then. God that episode is so viscerally raw. Eddie, Stranger Things. Bob, Stranger Things. Bing Bong from Inside Out. Last words take her to the moon for me. I skip this episode when I watch the show now my heart can't take it. The little girl in the red coat, Schindler's List. This pin this is gold. I could have gotten one more person. And I didn't. Gots the red wedding. I couldn't sleep after watching that episode. Dan aka Detective Douche on Lucifer. His daughter, knowing Lucifer can't lie, crying, and asking him to tell her that her dad is going to be okay was so fucking heartbreaking. Sad face. The dog in I am legend. For the target audience, Buffy's death at the end of season 5 was pretty big, was diminished by the fact we all knew she would return. Buffy's mum's death, was pretty hard to watch. The mother saying goodnight to her kids in Titanic. Gets me every time. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're gonna have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.